just recently in some part of your life you have got a lot of clarity and you have understood that things need to change but it will not change the way you think it should change or the way you thought it would change now is the time that you will have to do something which you have never done because they say that if you want to achieve something which you have never achieved then you need to do something which you have never ever ever done and the situation is such that now your condition is like do or die ya to karo ya maro because now the things have started piling up in some area of your life and it has reached to such a point where it's going to hit uh, hit the boiling point and that is going to happen very soon so now is the time that you have to put all your efforts when i say all i don't mean all i mean all your efforts <laughs> into some area of your life to make it happen it will not happen you have to make it happen all right so this is the video on jupiter's transit into jeshtha nakshatra which will happen till the end of this year almost okay so if i uh, if i see this transit is till because jupiter will stay for entire 2019 of course in scorpio and that's the last nakshatra which is there i mean jeshtha nakshatra so today i have listed down 10 factors for this transit and these factors are very important so please uh, watch this video till the end because this will help you to understand this transit and yes before i begin there are certain announcements which i have to make so recently i had a recording with the great astrologer ashwin balaji with whom i did a video on rahu and ketu and eclipses which i will upload very soon in the near future but uh, he has an amazing magazine it's known as the celestial vibes magazine so uh, celestial vibes is a magazine that aims at bridging the eastern and western sides of astrology as we know both the different sides by bringing various forms and techniques from multi dimensional viewpoint so there are many things in this magazine like there's hellenistic astrology there is vedic astrology then there is tropical astrology and many people keep asking what are the differences and how to see which techniques so there are writers from across the world it's an international magazine and it's one of the best magazines i would say as of now pertaining to the a uh, concept of trying to bridge different topics so this annual subscription of the magazine is 22 usd but now it's available for 17 usd until january 3rd 2019 so i posted down a link for the celestial vibes magazine.com so if you are interested please go there and you can take a subscription of that okay it's only 17 dollars until january 3rd and another announcement which i'll make here is many people have been asking me that if they can still join the webinar on 12 houses which i am conducting on 6 january so yes you can you can still join so in case you are interested you can still join the webinar uh, you will get the link to the webinar in the description below so you can go there and check okay how to do the registration and again i'm saying there are many people some of them I have made the payments for the webinar but they have not sent me an email so i do not know who you are so if you have made the payment and if you have not mailed me then please 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 mail it to me that you have made the payment so that i can send you the link to zoom uh, that zoom link otherwise you will not be able to attend the webinar okay and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me then go to the link below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there when jupiter is crossing jeshtha nakshatra all right so jeshtha nakshatra is one of the most powerful nakshatras for getting things done for cutting through difficulties because this is the nakshatra which is ruled i mean of course its planetary ruler as as they consider is mercury but 
indra is very prominently associated with this because indra is the is the head of the demigods the word jeshta one of the meanings of this word is jest which means eldest so many times you will see if the person has sun moon or ascendant placed in jeshta nakshatra then they have the tendency to behave as if they are the best in the place or in the family in the town or everywhere or anywhere <laughs> or they may be the eldest of the family also or suppose if you have moon in jest i have seen many times that your mother uh, is the eldest in her generation okay if sun is there then your father could be if venus is in jest it can happen that your spouse is the eldest in her family in her generation so these things can happen so now jupiter we know what jupiter is jupiter is representing all the good things in life it represents our ability to be positive hopeful thoughtful our belief in anything so now what is happening is the houses which jupiter rules in our chart uh, we need to take care of these 10 factors which i have noted down here all right so i will start sharing the first thing is do or die so now what is happening is from many 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 days jupiter was in vishakha nakshatra most of the time during this year 2009 uh, 2018 so when it was in swati before it was having uh, too much confusion so you can check when jupiter was in swati regarding the houses which jupiter rules depending on your ascendant again i am saying not where your jupiter is placed in your birth chart not that the houses which jupiter rules in your birth chart in your lagna chart depending on your ascendant wherever the signs 9 and 12 are falling 9 is sagittarius 12 is pisces those houses when jupiter was in swati you could have felt that there are too many overwhelming things which you are not able to figure out you had too many options but then when it entered vishakha which was for long time because then it was uh, going retrograde back and forth in libra so in vishakha you understood that you cannot do everything you need to do something but there's still a confusion that among two processes what should i do so jupiter in vishakha gave you that that dilemma that should i stay here or should i go here but in vishakha what happens is you like to stay in your comfort zone you do not like to take the jump but then when it entered anuradha then you you would have experience that you understood that which of the two paths that you are choosing or you were wanting to choose is good for you is beneficial for you anuradha nakshatra is very good because it clears of the confusion because it's the nakshatra of surrender and hope that tells you that yes if you stick to this path alone you can get success regarding the houses which jupiter rules in our chart you don't have to do two things you don't have to keep looking back again and again oh did i do the right thing or not that happens when jupiter is in uh, swati and primarily vishakha but now when it enters jeshtha what will happen is you will start the actual implementation because jeshtha nakshatra is very concerned with the result these people are very 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 result oriented they are always asking what's the profit what's your marks how much raise did you get you will see whoever has jeshtha prominent they are extremely calculative they are always thinking how they can extract more and more out of it depending on the whole chart of course so now when jupiter has entered jeshtha i mean it will enter around end of december and it will stay till the end of the next year november around and in between march and i guess it is going to mula nakshatra just 0 degrees in sagittarius and then it will be retrograde and again by end of april it will again enter jeshtha nakshatra so primarily it is going to be in jeshtha throughout the year so it's very important for us to understand so the first factor is do or die which means that now in jeshtha whichever house is jupiter is ruling you will get a feeling that it is high time i need to take action and it's not that you have you you, you have been sitting like a lazy bum but you had been taking action but now is the time when you will decide that i have to hit the bullseye at any cost 
enough of the comfort zone enough of <laughs> the relaxation so all the relaxation will vanish as soon as jupiter enters just how you will see people will no longer be relaxed relaxed they will be no longer relaxed doesn't mean that they will not be happy they will be miserable it means that they will actually start going and doing things and the question is why they will start doing this because the situations in your life around you will revolve in a way that you have to take a staunch action otherwise you will realize that things will fall apart and this will vary depending on what planets are in jeshta which mahadasha which antardasha which pratyantardasha you are running as per vimshotri sometimes there are special dasha systems which are applicable okay sometimes you have to see the different dasha systems like chara dasha has to be seen then you have to see narayan dasha also then you have to see uru dasha then so many other dasha systems will tell you what exactly is happening but as of now if you only see vimshotri that will tell you what exactly is going to happen but jupiter transit in jeshta will still have the effects irrespective of your dasha and transit it cannot transits cannot override what the dasha is telling which means if the dasha is telling that okay this person will get married now for example then even if jupiter is in jeshta anuradha anywhere whichever planet is wherever you will get married but now because jupiter is in jeshta and suppose you are a gemini or a virgo lagna for example so now your seventh lord has entered jeshta okay so in your wedding these things can happen oh there is some politics there is some bickering there is some gossip which is going on these things can happen all right but on which area that will happen that is marriage because the dasha is telling marriage okay i'm i'm just giving an example here so the next thing is you will want to be the best in the field because jeshta means the eldest who sits at the throne so now suppose jupiter is connected to your a uh, sixth house so it's if it's the sixth lord or the 10th lord or the 11th lord then it can happen that you want the topmost promotion or you want the best job so it can happen that you end up applying for jobs if you do not have a job that uh, you think that no 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 i will not do all these jobs you know these are small these are inferior i will to aim for the best the top top notch jobs so that can happen and you will become extremely competitive because indra will do anything as we have seen in the bhagavatam to keep sitting in his throne okay whatever is required they will they will do it so now depending on the houses which jupiter rules in your chart you will have a tendency to sacrifice everything else so suppose you are doing some course jupiter is your fourth lord suppose okay so suppose you are a sagittarius lagna jupiter is your lagnesh and your fourth lord then whatever it takes to finish your education fourth house is education you will do it suppose your friends are calling you hey there's a party will you come you will say no get lost i need to study <laughs> that will happen and especially for sagittarius and pisces your entire life will revolve around jeshta because your lagnesh is transiting in jeshta okay that's a very important transit of course so there will be lot of competition and you will not get peace till you get through the competition which means your mind will always be hyper yes 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 i need to fight i need to fight i need to fight 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 and the fighting spirit will come which is good if you use it in a proper way and you will face lot of challenges to cut through because everybody is going to become like this now <laughs> so the next thing is you will do what is needful you will try different areas you will try everything basically everything means to get things done you will do whatever is required so it can happen at that at times you might seek higher help also higher help means if uh, there is somebody in your company suppose who can give a reference for you who can help you to get a job then you should go and contact them that is something you should do because when indra had tried to kill vritrasur his vajra had failed then he had to go to dadichi as lord vishnu said this story is there in the shimad bhagavatam 
in the pastime of Ritrasur Maharaj. Okay, so during that time, his own powers failed. All of his might, all of his strength, that failed. So it can happen that whichever houses Jupiter is ruling in your chart, eventually you realize by January, February, March, by the end of March, you will realize that there is something which I have to do, which I have never done, means some higher help I have to seek. Okay, that can happen. Then the fourth one is you will be obsessed with power and authority. So you will want to exert your authority on others. You will you will want to prove to others that how you are better than them. Now that's the difficult part of this nakshatra. That that is a that this is a very self-obsessed nakshatra. This nakshatra says only think of yourself, don't think of others. Even if it is a planet like Jupiter, it will still behave like that. So we need to understand that every time we may not be sitting at the top because that happens with Indra sometimes. The demons come and they pull him down, they overthrow him and then they they sit in the throne of the king of the heavens. So we should not get too much obsessed with power and authority which means we should try our best. Number one, then we should try to seek help from seniors, from guides, from higher authorities. Jupiter is the guru, the guide. But we should not have a tendency to uh, force ourselves on others. Don't go on giving unnecessary suggestions to people, even, even without being asked. Do not do that. Otherwise, you will face backlash. They will ha start hating you. So those of uh, those people who have this habit of going and giving suggestions to people unnecessarily, please refrain from doing that now. Because you may think that you know the best, but then they are also thinking, no, no, I don't need your suggestion. I don't need your advice. I know what's good for me. So suggest only when you have been asked. Don't just go on giving unsolicited free advice or you get it what I say, right? The next, the fifth thing is you can have a tendency to trample upon others. In Hindi, you could say, Kuchal dena logo ko. <laughs> so we need to guard ourselves from this tendency. Because we might prove to others that, look, 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 I am superior than you. You have to listen to me now. What I am saying will happen. Because Indra is the one who makes the rules, regulations, what's going on where. I mean... Not on an absolute sense, but on a managerial sense, he makes a lot of decisions for the welfare of this universe. So there could be a tendency that we trample on others because Indra had killed Vishwarup. Because Vishwarup had by mistake given some of the oblations in the Yagya to the demons also. That story is there in the Bhagavatam. So we we should refrain from trampling from trampling upon others. If we do that, then what will happen? Somebody who is above us will trample on us. Or it can happen, who we are trampling upon, they rebel against us. That can happen. And then they will say that we will not stay under your authority. We will not stay with you. So then you will not be the king only. So if you are a boss, then do not pressurize your employees beyond a certain limit. I mean, of course, you can motivate them as a leader. There's no problem in that. You can motivate them to extend themselves. But do not threaten them. Do not say them that if you don't work, I'll fire you. Because then they may do something else to pull you down. Okay. Then now number six is most important. Disrespect your guru, friends and guides. Indra had disrespected Brihaspati. What happened was... When Brihaspati entered the assembly where Indra sits in his throne, then Indra was so much obsessed with his power and position and authority that he did not offer namaskar, obeisances, his respects to Brihaspati. Brihaspati is Jupiter, he is the Guru. And now Jupiter itself is in Jeshtha. All right? So it can happen that you have a tendency and then what happened is Jupiter, Brihaspati immediately left and then the demigods fell down because Indra had disrespected uh, their gurus. I mean, Brihaspati, who is their prominent guru. Okay, and that had a serious, serious, serious repercussion. So, 
we should refrain from fighting with our <coughs> with our gurus and with anybody who has given us any kind of guidance or even with our elders with our boss okay we should avoid doing this <coughs> and then friends also <coughs> why friends because vishwarup was a brahmin who was actually like a friend to indra but because he did one mistake indra severed off the head of vishwarup and then vritrasur was born as a repercussion to that so do not insult your near and dear ones because then what will happen is they will war against you and then they will pull you down forget your enemies they will pull you down the demons they worshiped shukracharya later who is their uh, guru venus and then they got a lot of powers and that's the lesson here okay the number 7 lack of humility you could realize that once jupiter enters jeshtha and you get some name fame position power authority you could lose all humility so do not lose it so you could think that yes i made it i am the king i did it finally ultimately i am victorious because jeshtha is also related to victory but in the midst of all this if you forget that lord krishna is the ultimate controller lord vishnu then you will very soon realize that anything can be taken away from you because indra had also tried to uh, disrupt vrindavan by pouring so much rain and water through the samvartaka clouds but then what happened lord krishna lifted the govardhan parvat yes the govardhan hill he lifted and the entire vijavasi the residents of vrindavan had taken shelter in govardhan and then uh, indra understood that krishna is god himself and then later on he became humble so do not commit blunders because of which you might be humiliated later okay that's very important so refrain from broadcasting your greatness because humility one of the definitions of humility in bhagavad gita it is said that humility means no expectation for one's own self so the more you have expectation from others the more you realize you will realize that you are not humble because you will always be frustrated because the amount of frustration is directly proportional to the amount of expectation should i repeat the more the expectation more the frustration so always remember that past time of govardhan leela that's very important here so maintain your humility even if you are sitting at the throne do not think that you are there because of your karma your good deeds you have to understand that god has allowed you to sit there for some temporary time and then after that you will perish one day then number 8 commit sin and pay later because indra had killed vishwarup so there was very severe repercussion vitrasur was born and later on he had to go and uh, ask dadichi rishi that lord vishnu has told me that i want your bones to make the vajra the lord vishnu told indra that go to dadichi rishi and ask his bones a uh, backbone i mean and then from that you make a vajra the thunderbolt and with that you hit hit vritrasur so if you commit any sin sin means basically during this time to get things done you be competitive you struggle hard you ask help from people but do not use nefarious means to get things done if you do that then what will happen is later on you will face the repercussion and you will get the repercussion before jupiter goes into mula or you can also get it when jupiter enters mula which if you ignore the retrogression in april march april it will go in november so the caution is anything you try to as in hindi they say na jugar lagana in india there's this famous verse jugar lagao lekin paap mat karo <laughs> you can use your contacts your skills your 
talent but do not do things like giving donation or playing games yes to get something done or to get somebody emotional mental games these things can happen especially for gemini and virgo this can happen because now your seventh lord is transiting in jaista so either you or your spouse now if you are single you might play games to get the opposite sex or to get back your ex these things can happen or your your opposite uh, partner he or she could play games with you all right so please be careful then face humiliation indra was uh, he was the de- dethroned for some time so it can happen that if you are running a difficult dasha and if jupiter is also ruling difficult houses in your chart difficult houses means the dusthanas the 6th 8th and the 12th houses and provided you are running a very difficult dasha provided the mahadasha antar dasha if these two are supporting then it can happen that you might face some kind of a humiliation that people might tell that oh look 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 he thought he is very great in this but look now he failed so that can happen so prepare for the worst case scenario all right so suppose your dasha is telling that you will not get married now and suppose you are a gemini or a virgo lagna then your seventh lord is jupiter so then your seventh lord which shows marriage is transiting in jaista so suppose in the past you used to play the kettle drums as they say in hindi na danka bajana <laughs> dindora pitna yes that's the correct word you are broadcasting everybody oh i will marry this person i will marry that person or my wedding will be at the taj vivantha taj my wedding will be in radisson blue my wedding will be in a seven star hotel burj al arab dubai i don't know where it is in dubai or some other place or it will be in burj khalifa it will be in this great hotel or that great place great resort and your dasha is telling suppose your sixth house is active for example by your dasha so now you might face humiliation regarding the seventh house people might say oh what happened you were speaking big big things now where's the result there's no result you see so if you had played these drums before now you might have to pay the price okay so be prepared and the last win the battle and lose the war so at the end what happened indra had killed vritrasur by using the vajra which was made from the bones of dadichi rishi and then later on vritrasur he was actually chitraketu maharaj so vritrasur was killed and indra stayed back in this material world and vritrasur went back to shankarshan shankarshan is the expansion of vishnu narayan so he went back to the spiritual world because he was originally chitraketu maharaj who was cursed by mother parvati because of his small offense to lord shiva about which we will discuss some other day but the point is vritrasur lost the battle and he went back to the spiritual world so he lost the battle you see but he won the war but indra he won the battle but he lost the war he stayed back in the material world so he will get more and more and more and more entangled so it can happen that by the end of this transit you get a feeling that i did a lot of things during this year from december of this year to november of next year i tried everything i did everything whatever i could at my best capacity and maybe i achieved also something depending on your dasha but at the end you might ask this question to yourself was it worth the effort <laughs> and then when jupiter enters mula nakshatra if you feel that it was not worth the effort then you will throw it out all the activities that you do du- during this year you will dissolve it all right so these things can happen that at the end of jupiter's entry 
into Mula Nakshatra, which will happen November next year, 2019. You might feel that you you won the battle which you were fighting, but you lost the war. <laughs> all right. So take take care that you do not get too much obsessed. So I will repeat all the ten factors: do or die, competition and challenge. Number three is do whatever is needful, seek higher help. Number four, obsession with power and authority. Number five is trample upon others, do not trample. Number six, do not disrespect your guru, your friends and your guides. Number seven is bring some humility. Number eight is do not commit sin because you will have to pay later. Then number nine is you might face humiliation if you were blowing big drums before. <laughs> And number 10 is this. you might win the battle and lose the war. So whatever you do during this time, 2019, always understand that you have to do it keeping into the keeping the future into consideration. All right. So it's been a very long video. There you go. 10 factors for Jupiter's transit into Jaisthana Nakshatra. So if you want some help regarding this with your personal horoscope, then you can go to my website to book a reading. You will find the link below. And if you're new, then like, comment, share and subscribe. Okay, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and hopefully you find him. <laughs> okay, until next time. Bye-bye. See you.